All right, welcome back. Let's continue with the journey. It's been a while. I've been busy working, and I kind of forgot where where we are. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I think we went to the fourth floor on the old cave, and here we are Belgium, and. We are. Where the heck we supposed to go next? Let's talk to some people to get with some refresh here. Okay, that's right. We need we need to go um, rescue Jaren. If memory serves, uh, I think we have to go to certain cave to get the key to go to the tower. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, then let's go. Man, I've I've been tired. <laughs> when I came home, you know, I just check my inbox, do some chores. After that, I kind of eat and take a shower, and then, and then just fall asleep. But today's Friday. And uh, I don't have to wake up early. <laughs> I, I can just play this until I'm I'm fall fall asleep, and uh, you know I don't have to worry about waking up early. Okay, so we came from from the west, I believe. Yeah, right there we came from that from that uh, cave to the northwest. All right, I think I begin to get my memory here. I should get up. <coughs> this is how I escape reality playing video game. I used to read a lot of books, mostly like fantasy book, like uh, Dragon Lance, Dragon Lance series, uh, Tracy, Tracy Hickman, and uh, Margaret Weiss or something like that. Look, they wrote. They wrote the uh, fantasy book real well. However, and then World of Warcraft comes in, and I'm like addicted to that thing. So I went from you know this type of uh, Japanese RPG to uh, um, what what they call it MMO RPG, yeah. Anyway, I'm. I'm just want to walk down memory lane again, since I don't. Back in the day, I don't know Jack Squat about recording and all this, but now I get some ideas of it. Okay, we went the wrong way, didn't we? All right, that's fine. So I'm gonna record this memory because, uh, I I, I watch other people let's play. I found some problem with the. That's why they have good ones, make no, no mistake. Uh, the majority I found is that the volume of the game volume um, as far well, is so low. Sometimes both the commentary and game volume so low that uh, when you turn it up loud and then they have commercial coming on on their channel, boom, it just make you wake up again. It's like, Man, I want I want to listen to a gameplay and that so that you know it would calmly put me to sleep. But then you get this commercial come on and just blast you in the ear and say, "Oh, come on!" And I believe this is the cave that they're talking about right here, Southwest. So I decided, you know, I'll let my do let's play so that. Hopefully the sound is good so that when you sleep, uh, you can hear this commentary and and the game sound, especially the game that has voiceover, like uh, Kodelka, for example. Though so I probably have to redo Kodelka uh, because I plan to play multiple Kodelka. Let's play. 
because you have different build due to how you how you can make your character into certain role. So plus I I, I love that game no matter what. I, I don't mind playing multiple times. And and then when you listen to and, and saw this story it goes I don't know about you but it put me to sleep. And it calmed me. Uh, the other people, you know, it's like you. So I have to watch. But uh, H.C. Uh, H.C. Bailey, he's one of my favorite Let's Play. Um, he's got very clear voice, very nice guy, and he know. I think he does. He does uh, a test play. Um, before he actually do a let's play so all these stairs anyway check him out he's very he's uh, one of my um, what would you call it uh, my inspirator or someone who inspired me to to do let's play to walk down memory lane uh, Kikoskia is one of them that somehow I, I just like British accent <laughs> But uh, the problem with um, again with Kikoski is low volume, low game volume. But he's pretty fun. H.C. Bailey, H.C. Uh, Bailey, he he got very loud, clear voice, and he does put me to sleep in a good way. Uh, what what they call that? Uh, uh, ASMR uh, syndrome or or, or whatever. Yeah, I, uh, if I have a hard time fall asleep, I would just find one of his let's, let's play and fall asleep. And, uh, or I can just lock down my memory lane of my own video and, you know, put, me, put myself to sleep. And then I try to find various uh, content creators, but uh, they suffer gain low volume on the gameplay. And when you try to crank up the volume, like I said, when the commercial commercial come on, just splash you in the ear. Now my channel is small, and I don't make any money out of it, so I don't really, care. I don't um, very care about commercial blasting on people's ear. So uh, let's see here. So I'm looking for a lot of let's play speed running, and I do like speed running, especially with comment. I want to hear how they think, what they do. But the problem is the same things. Low volume. It's like why do they put volume so low, both the commentary and music? And then you know it forced me to crank up the volume. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you, you can compare to a lot of the Let's Play and then you, you know that the one that... Um, unless you had a sound that is annoying, I can understand. Like Now, there is one game that's annoying the shit out of me that I can't stand. That is Final Fantasy VII. There is one particular town, I think it's near the beginning, it's like a port town. Uh, the one that where Cloud has to use the dolphin to get certain items or something, I forgot. And that town, it makes this, the, the, the sound is so annoying, I just have to shut it off. But other than that, the game is real good. Final Fantasy VII, I just don't like that particular town. And the, and the background music. Um, I, I don't... Oh, it sounds like a military or something. Anyway, it is annoying. Now, annoying sound like that, if I found any sound annoying, I, I would modify the video 
to to you know to make it so uh, another good example uh, is that um, when I watch let's play of uh, my and magic nine uh, in the beginning dungeon they have this door opening and closing that's oh my god even the even the guy that play the game is good lord he cursed that sound oh he said the sounds terrible I'm like what kind they lo- developer don't listen to their own sound or something? I mean that is nuts uh, <clears throat> so at that particular point I probably have to lower the volume or, or remove it you know or like mute it but that opening door it's so many and so many uh, door and close together uh, edit is just annoying itself so he, he just leave it in there and and uh, anyway it's annoying <laughs> this is HP spell portion that's MP yeah, give it to uh, Luffy here now. So far, I haven't encountered it. I enjoy all the music, uh, all the game I play so far, especially Kudelka. <clears throat> so why I want you to play Final Fantasy VII? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. But probably gonna be the original version. Uh, the remake one, yeah, I don't know, man. Now, I do have the Steam version. In fact, I think I no, I think I still have the original PlayStation version. But uh, maybe Steam, or maybe PlayStation version. I don't know. I'll play. It. But I believe they have like a mod or something to make the graphic look a little better. You know, instead of too blocky or too whatever. Uh, the remake, uh, I don't know, man. It, it seems though Square Enix has become greedy. I mean, they charge you what 70 bucks for that game that's not even complete. That only focus on Midgar, which is like one quarter of the game, and they charge you full price. And and then I think down the line they can release the second part, and they're gonna charge you another seventy. And then they're gonna release the third part, they're gonna charge you another seventy, and then they're gonna release the final. And um, they're gonna charge you another seventy, you know. So. All in all, it's gonna cost you 250 to 300 bucks total. Woo! Can't afford it. Besides, the, yeah, the graphic may look good, but I don't know. In fact, I didn't even bother watching any Let's Play, even though I seen I seen the the title come up. I just never actually clicked on it because I guess I kind of lost interest in those things. So you know what? I'll stick with the original version. <laughs> anyway, back to this game. Oh, okay. He ran away. Huh? That's new enemy, right? Blue Wolf. Oh, crud. Luffy is low on HP. I would buff her up there. Now, uh, what should we play after this one? Hmm? Oh, I, nah, I'm not gonna tell you yet, of course. Something dear to my heart. Something tactic. Crunching sound. Ping! Anyway, I won't reveal anymore. <laughs> Even though I think this is still a long way to go yet. Especially the second one. Oh man, the music second second one, once you listen to it. 
uh, to the music um, it will stick to your head it, it never leaves my head every time I, I hear it oh I think it max out Oh ho, schemata. I think long sword. He's oh 196 huge upgrade there for him. I know long sword is what? 203, yeah. I know that it's supposed to be key, right? That's where we're here for. Oh, this last fly ring, okay. I think that ring they probably go into the tower. So fly means uh, bird enemy. Well, pretty much any sky enemy, I'm assuming. So I believe that if we go into the tower, which means we'll be we'll be uh, fighting a flying enemy, so we can have to equip that. Key. What the heck are we doing to this dungeon? I didn't find any keys. I think we might miss uh, some some stairs there. We're gonna have to backtrack. To be honest, I, I forgot all about it. It's been so long. Like I said, that what I, I probably beat it what once. We've been here. Oh, that water ring, man! <laughs> it just make the spell real strong there. Okay, well that's bad. I thought Arturo was gonna go first, but he didn't. Any hidden stuff? No. Okay, um, we've been to everywhere, right? Maybe down? Oh, we need to go down. Oh ho ho! Okay. Hmm, you got in that treasure chest there, my friend. You don't look like a monster. Alright. My younger sister sent you, didn't she? Very well. Here's the key. I'll take responsibility. Go and rescue Jen. Oh, I thought he can turn into a monster. Okay, so we've been in every room now. Time to time to get the hell out of here. There's so much game to play and I'm 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 pretty old dude, I don't know if I am able to play them all before I'm retired. And this hernia is getting still still bother me. Anyway, I can't run anymore. <laughs> I did bought me a $600 uh, urban city bike and plus all the accessory, helmet, sunglasses, pants, gloves, air pump, spare tire, water cage, lights, odometer, that pretty much around a $1,000 investment. So I think that by sitting on the saddle, I think my stomach won't bounce too much. What's this jockey? If I jock in my lower stomach bounce all the time, then I fear that that more stuff gonna fall down there, and then they're gonna have to do another surgery to fix it up to hold it up. I don't know what it is. But right now, it's bloating, but it did not pain. There's no pain or 
or uh, what you call it, or protruding now. But I do feel it. I do. Feel it. So I, every time I push, I put strength that that will affect that area. I would use my hands and hook and 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 push against the skin uh, against the skin. So that when I cough, sneeze, push, or or whatever, uh, my stomach is supported by my hand so that my organ will boom you know will push out and create another hernia because I can feel it I can feel like another hernia in the making is coming if I don't be careful and I don't want, want to go through that again oh yeah uh, it costs like twenty seven thousand dollars and then my insurance kind of negotiated to around thirteen thousand. Well, well, no, seventeen thousand. Or was it twenty-four thousand? And then they negotiated down to about seventeen thousand. <coughs> and when I look at the bill, the most expensive is the operating room. Holy crap! Ten thousand something. And then the mash, the mash that they put in is like around three thousand. And 13,000, there it is. And then you got anesthesia is about 1,700 bucks. Surgery is what? 3,000? I don't know. Costs a lot of money, you know, gotta have some insurance, man. The inconvenience of it, of going there, waiting, filling out paper. Especially when you need to use the restroom, you say, oh god, you, you know the hospital, restroom, with all those sickly people use, it's like nobody can clean up, there's a pee, there's an unclean shit in there, you would think I didn't need to take a shit, I would just go pee, and there's a lady there with her son supporting her in the male restroom, she was throwing up in one of the stalls, oh, the son is there to support him. He's a nice kid, I guess. And then I look at the other store. All the mess. I see. Why are you generous? Why aren't they cleaning? But then again, it was in the early morning, like 4 o'clock. They, you know, they probably sleeping. Let's go back to the end. And uh, and then you gotta wait for them to call you, then strip naked, and then there's a lady <laughs> uh, with a with a shaving machine or shaving thing uh, to shave you. And I said, well, since they're gonna cut me down there, you know, I might as well shave it. So I did shave myself, and then the lady. Just have to shave whatever that uh, I guess she shaved like uh, around my leg, which I didn't. I just so she cleaned up what I did. Let's put it this way. And after that, they put you to sleep. And I actually tried to fight it. I said, you know, I tried to fight to stay awake, but <laughs> I fell. <laughs> And then once she put this little thing on my on my face, uh, like an oxygen thing, and I can feel my head begin to feel light, woozy, woozy, and I'm blinking around, man. I say, I, I know, I know, I shouldn't fight to stay awake, but I, I want to test myself. And uh, it, that didn't that didn't work because, like one second later, I woke up in the emergency room. <laughs> And when I look at the clock, they got a clock there. I went in what about seven o'clock or seven thirty before they uh, they cut me. When I woke up, it's what like nine thirty. I say, holy cow! It feels like I just go to sleep, and then one second I wake up, and then uh, the time just you know the time just uh, gone. 
It's like you're in a time machine, is what I'm trying to say. And then you begin to feel like your body is tightened and then numb, your mouth dry. And then the lady says, oh, welcome back. I say, is it done yet? I say, yes, it's done. And when I'm awake, and they finally could call my, my mom and my sister, because they're the one who took me there, and they come into the recovery room. And uh, yeah, I was butt naked, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, I was actually have a hard time putting my pants on, so I had <laughs> my mom and my sister support me. <laughs> but you know, it's a natural thing. I wasn't shy. But surprisingly, the nurse there, actually, she said she, she would be shy if her mom was there. I said, how the heck would you be shy when your mom does see you naked? Number one, Maybe I'm old and I see everything. I know it's natural and all that, so I don't really care. But she is also old as well. So we talk as I lay there. They were waiting for me to pee. Otherwise, they can't discharge me unless I pee. But the thing is, I don't feel like going anywhere. I don't feel like doing... Uh, I guess the IV and anesthesia somehow prevent you from from, you know, from using the restroom for until it wears out or something like that. So she put some IV on me and she said that's pretty normal. And then I asked for like glasses of water. <clears throat> and I just drink, I said, I gotta pee, I gotta, I wanna go home, I don't wanna stay here. So I just drink and drink like two or three cups and I still don't feel a thing. Until like 12 o'clock, now the nurse, she needs to go to eat lunch. I said, yeah, you, you can go ahead and eat lunch, and by the time you come back, I probably, you know, would, would feel to go to the restroom. And, and she took like 45 minutes lunch, and I still don't feel it. He said, okay, let's try again, let's go ahead. So I go in there, and, and finally I feel it come out a little bit. I said, okay, that's good enough. <laughs> I was able to pee. And they asked me whether I want to stay there or go home. I said, yeah, I'll go home. I can go home. Okay. So they put me in a wheelchair, wheel me off to the car and home. And of course, at that point, the anesthesia is still not wore off yet. So I don't feel any pain. I, I was walking, man. Like, mm. And when it wore out, I would try to get out of bed. You know, I was holding one hand to my to the uh, support of my bed, um, uh, one of the uh, corner there, I just pulled myself up. I just yanked myself up and pew! Like somebody just get a knife and slice me down the wound where the hernia is. You say, oh my God, did I just reopen my wound? I said, this never happened. I, I get out like this, then I realize, oh yeah, uh, the anesthesia just wore, wore off. <laughs> and I was nervous at that point. I said, oh God, I, I reopened my room. When in fact I did not. So, and then I feel like something coming down. Nervous wreck. My parents don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, we rush into the emergency room. What it need was, it just need an ice because my my wound loaded up and I was to keep the ice on all the time for two and a half to three days. And I, and I, I guess the ice, it melted on the back, you know. And uh, So, well, it's in the middle of night, so I didn't bother to get up and refill it. Or call, my, my, my family was supposed to help me, but I didn't decide not to disturb them. And I said, you know what? I can't just sleep. And after that, it blowed up like crazy. 
rushed, rushed to the emergency room without understanding. I've been there for eight hours because they can't call my doctor because he was sleeping. So they, I was laying on the chair for two hours before they do anything for me. At this point, my wound really bloated up. I said, oh God, my stitch, my stitch. Why can't, you know, why can't uh, they process me already? And then finally the lady there, uh, <coughs> is this the right way? I'm gonna try. Anyway, uh, oh, okay, it is the right way. Wait, what is this? But mostly she just take my blood sample and then they do some CT scan or whatever. Yeah, that, that visit alone, that, that eight hour visit, that's all, all they do. Cost me two, two, $2,200. They hardly done anything. So you gotta be kidding me. And, um, Anyway, finally, like around 7 o'clock, uh, they got 6 or 7, <clears throat> they sent, well, that, actually they do the scan on me, and then they, <laughs> they sent the scan to my doctor, and he said, oh, everything's fine, it just bloated, nothing's broken, and I was relieved, I thought I had to go for another repair, and then they said, yeah, just put the ice on it, and it actually works. You know, get the ice back, and I put that thing all day and night for the next one and a half day. It swelled down, and we, <coughs> he he set appointment for, for me go see the doctor, and it was fine. But now the bloating there, and he said, "Yeah, that's normal," uh, because I had an open surgery, not not scopic surgery. Due to my previous surgery, I had like when I was what three years old, I had this kidney stone size surgery on my lower stomach. That's what prevented the doctor from doing the scopic surgery, and that's why I feel this, this uh, I guess a hole or something that uh, on my lower stomach because he had to cut me three inches, three inches wide. I actually measured it, and uh, yeah, I'm still feeling it right now. And every time I feel it, I would use my hand to hold hold them together, and then they would heal. Oh, all of this would feel better. <laughs> now I do that. I step on those things. I want to make sure that there's no treasure hidden there. Oh Jesus! You know what? Let's do the food. No, maybe not. Oh, float. How convenient. New enemies, huh? Anyway, my, my wound is healing except for the lower stomach um, they say time heals all wound as long as I don't make it worse <laughs> what the hell is this thing's weakness man how about drain I think drain is lower HP there oh never mind okay. <gasps> 738 experience holy cow that tries to chest we need more of them. Okay, looks like I'm, I, I might go the right way there. I need to take that treasure chest. We might have to backtrack. But I think uh, on uh, 25th of January, 
I had one last appointment with him. He said, yeah, now we know I can do anything without restriction. He said that, but I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> oh, we do. We don't go to the right way. Okay, that's good. Now I just have to take care of myself. And, uh, but this thing still bother me. And I'm gonna talk about it because it's not stopping. And every time I go there, he just says, it's normal, it's normal. Maybe I'm being too paranoid. That's what it is. And I don't want to run, man. I try to run, but it ain't. But it feels like something's gonna drop down down to my lower stomach if I run. <laughs> you know, with the with my leg tapping the ground, tut, 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 and your stomach, with the gravity is shaking your body. I say, you know what? I can find a different way of doing the cardiovascular exercise. You know, why not? Uh, why not um, uh, ride a bicycle? Because I used to be a cyclist back in Florida. I live in Tennessee right now, but anyway, I I, get, I got actually it, the bike came today, Friday. So tomorrow I gotta put them together. But the weather out there is kind of cold. Depends on the weather. I might do some tests, test, test uh, you know, just ride around the neighborhood. I haven't buy, ride my bike for so long, but I think that um, you never forget riding a bike. So I'm gonna try to find a safe place to ride. Though the sidewalk is right because it's, as long as I don't go too fast, unless I'm, on, I'm in the edge of the street, then I'll go fast. But I mean, on the sidewalk, uh, I'll go slow so I don't, I don't run people over. It got to be something here, ain't it? All right. I got uh, how many? Uh, Fifteen or is it four? Looks like a four. No hidden chest. Oh, that just wasted. Oh, I just wasted. Okay, can. Mr. Rat, are you still alive? <laughs> you ran away. Um, that's that's fine. You don't mind, Mr. Rat. Oh, we gotta kill the red guy first. Um, let's drain one. Let's drain that bastard right there. Oh, three hundred. Defense gone. Uh, let's drain again. Good, good. She picked a different target. Now we can attack. No. He ran away. That's that worth a lot of experience point. Wait a minute. We just drained him. What the hell? Let's try again. Holy God. That thing must have maximum maximum defense. You see how much defense we we remove from him? He still take blood uh take less damage. I think 202 two, no two hundred and fifty five is probably the max. No 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 that's not it because we took out uh, what 800 some 800 and 300 that's about 1100 so I'm thinking he probably have a lot more okay spell potion and power potion there more HP for Lufia
Oh man, we might go with uh, magic here. Dang, she's awesome. Thanks to that <laughs> watery. <ring. laughs> We've been here long, we didn't save the game yet, did we? Oh, we didn't. We, we, we were at the time, we forgot to save. I hope nothing happened. Oh, I can use save state. I'll take my chances. <laughs> you know what? Hold up. There we go. Because, yeah, I don't want to have to do redo all those. So I gotta, I gotta save state here. I mean, we got this technology today. Why the hell, you know, we don't use? It would be a waste. We, we might as well use it. All right. Hopefully, there should be like a recovery part and save points. Uh, I doubt it can be saved in this game in the dungeon. You, you can only save in the, at the... Um, that place looks suspicious there. At least they come in, in some group like that. It allows Luffy just to um, do some A AOE effect on him. Nothing, okay. I don't think this game has any hidden stuff. Oh no, I take that back. Ooh. Let's just kill the rats first while we just kill this guy. Just hope they don't run away. That's a lot of experience there, my friend. Let's try this. Oh, you dumb nuts. Look at that. We would have 1400 points there. Dang. Oh, I don't like the way they, they do that. They, they come in three different groups instead of one group. Oh, that's alright, I guess. Oh, finally up. Nice. Let's see, sand, is Sandman, that's it. I, I hope, I hope this do work. Oh! It, it weak, it's weakness to water. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh. Uh, a dry, oh, a dry, um, thing. I'm gonna use bang man. Uh, that's pretty low there. Oh man. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I saw somebody there. You can't go this way, leave now. Isn't that Jim? She's still a child. Not really. Look at her carefully. Oh, an elf. She's a half elf.
I got a feeling that that, that might be our party member there. And what is those that part? Is that recovery part? You better be because I'm running out of resources. Her age, her age doesn't matter now. What should we do, Bullock? Well, we can't leave things like this. Let's get these two in front of the stairs. That's how we can help. Yeah. yeah. But before we do that, and I believe the other one gonna be um, in peace. Oh, they copied that from Final Fantasy there. From Final Fantasy 4. Remember that crystal tower? It, it does the same thing. Oh, and they got some, oh, finally some save point. Perfect. Wait a minute, okay. They say we need to take out this too. What, what do we do? Um, did I miss something? Uh, okay. Uh, huh. Let the If you feel sorry, then let me save her. Jesus. Uh, are we meant to do something? Did we miss certain key item? Wait, how about how about this area here? Maybe a hidden stair? How about the back room? Is there in the back? Oh, don't tell me I gotta look at the strategy guy again. Let's try to leave and see what happens. Ah, that's what it is. Dragon. Mm, too late now, you bastards. See what happened? Yeah, now look what you did. Why? Up on the top floor, you don't say. Well, we're gonna keep on uh, following uh, there and there. Uh oh, getting late. Oh wait, today is uh, Friday. Let me wait up tomorrow. Ah, you know what? Let's go back. This video is too long enough. I want to play World of Warcraft here. So, yeah, let's play another game. <laughs> let's let, let's take a break from this one. Let's go back to that um to that dude. Oh, you know what we could do? We could just grind here for a little bit. Maybe level, level a couple more, level up a couple more times. Since we got free, uh, free healing. I'll do that off camera, I think. All right then. See ya. I gotta go. I gotta go level up my um, my warrior. Well, still not level seventy yet. I said I got I, I work 12 hours a day well I work 10 hours but travel time 2 hours you know anyway see ya <laughs>